everyone, it's Nina and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different type of video for my channel. I really wanted to film some type of like collective favorites video because I really like watching this style of video. And I figured I could kind of combine a bunch of different things that I've been enjoying lately that are kind of bookish and also just like general lifestyle things. And since they appeal to me, I think they probably would also appeal to you guys as my audience. We have a couple different categories that we're going to go through for this video. The first one is like home slash food slash clothes which is the majority of the stuff. Then I have a very small section for tech. And then I also want to talk about other media that I've been enjoying that isn't just books. Since I don't really talk about a lot of things besides the stuff I read on this channel, but I obviously do interact with other forms of media like listening to podcasts or watching movies. So I thought this would be like a good combination of all of those interests. So with that intro out of the way, let's get into the video. Again, starting off, we're going to go into the like food slash home slash clothes category. And I feel like all of these are kind of like book adjacent in like setting up the ambiance for reading or being cozy, which I love. The first thing I wanted to mention is something I've been using all the time and that is this like beer style glass cup. I feel like these are pretty trendy right now and you can find them even like in some regular like department stores like Home Goods or TJ Maxx, but I think they've also started showing up in places like Target. However, this is one I got for Christmas from my wife that is from the Etsy small business House of Hex. And this one is really cute. It has this sort of like witchy design with this mushroom and this little frog on it that I think is so cute. I really wanted a very like cottagecore inspired cup. And this is one I found on Etsy that I thought really fit the bill. Obviously I would suggest finding one from like a small business over getting a very like mass produced one from another store. I feel like drinking out of a fancy glass with like a fancy glass straw really just like elevates the experience of having a fun drink. I feel like this is perfect for someone who is like a fun drink girly who wants a very like unique customizable cup. Speaking about being a fun drink early, the other favorite I've had recently is using the Termani and Monin syrups, as well as having like the matching pumps that you can buy through Amazon. I feel like these are essential if you are a fun drink early, or if you want to like cut down on buying fun drinks when you're going out. I really love having my like coffee bar station in my kitchen. I feel like it really adds to the like coffee shop, cafe, cozy atmosphere in my home. I feel like this is really good for someone who is again, looking to kind of like elevate your at home coffee or drink area. And we don't use the syrups just for coffee. I have a lavender syrup that we actually primarily use to make lavender lemonades, which is obviously going to get a ton more use with the coming summer season. I feel like this is a perfect thing for people who are looking to like elevate your at home coffee or fun drink game. The only problem that I have found is the fact that the pumps that I initially got only fit the Tarani syrup bottles. The Monin bottles are like a slightly different shape, but it's not really that big of a deal. And in general, I find that it's much easier to find the Tarani syrups out at stores versus the Monin ones anyway. So I'm fine with having to actually like pour the syrup down as opposed to having to use the pump feature in the case of the Monin ones over the Tarani ones. It's such a minor issue that honestly doesn't come up that often. Just something I wanted to mention in case you decide to buy any of these syrups just to know that the pumps that you probably can find on Amazon are not interchangeable. Okay, the next like home item I wanted to mention is these like $10 seasonal blankets from Target. These are like shockingly nice despite being so cheap. This particular strawberry one, which I use on like my bedspread every single day, I think it was from like the college dorm collection that they had in September, which probably will cycle around each year in case you're looking for this particular one but they release a couple different designs pretty much for every single holiday. I feel like this is really good for someone that doesn't own a lot of blankets already. Or if you wanted to like switch out your blankets to be seasonal decor or just to have like a more variety of patterns, these are really cute and a great option. Okay, the last two things I wanted to mention in this like home category are both like bookish merch items. And both of these are things that I have worn in previous videos, I'm pretty sure. The first one is this book mushroom sweatshirt, which I actually got as a gift from my wife when we saw it at Katsukon. It's from the seller Savory. I'm probably butchering their name, but I'll try and link it down in the description. This is so cute and well-made. Like this entire thing here is like an embroidered panel. This is also a size medium. I was kind of worried it would be a little bit too oversized, but I feel like it's really perfect for me. And obviously it's so cute and kind of really fits in with my like kind of green academia cottage core aesthetic. I'm definitely sure I've worn this in a couple videos so far. And I really, really like it and probably will wear it as long as I possibly can until it gets too hot out. The other sweatshirt I have was also a gift actually from my friend Elaine for Christmas. And it is this Lock Tomb inspired sweatshirt based also on the third house. So it says third house, Tridentarius, and then has this like sword and bone arm design on it. This is from the Etsy store College Book Core. Elaine had just like randomly found it on Etsy not knowing that completely unrelatedly, this is a Etsy store that is run by our friend Mar. And it's so cute. I honestly was considering buying the like t-shirt version of this for myself anyway. 
This is a size large, so it's a little bit more of an oversized fit for me. And I definitely will be wearing this as like part of a casual cosplay that I do for Ianthe as like a more comfy alternative when I want to switch out of wearing her original costume. Okay, the next category I wanted to move on to is tech. And there's really like only two things in this category. The first one is to have a phone stand. This one is a like anime character branded one from Scapey Infinity. There's basically like two pieces of acrylic plastic that can join together. But really any old phone stand is fine for this purpose. I primarily have been using a phone stand for when I'm like cooking and want to listen to something at the same time. I feel like it's so handy. I really love it. I feel like this is really good for someone who feels like they often lose their phone. Like you will leave it on like a table or like a weird ass spot in your kitchen while you're cooking and listening to something. I feel like having this type of stand just makes it like more noticeable and also kind of like grounds the placement of your phone. And obviously since it's propped up, you can like read the screen if you're like using it for a recipe. But this has been really helpful when I've been listening to like podcasts or audiobooks while I'm cooking at the same time. The next item I wanted to mention is these like really cheap ass knockoff AirPods that I got from Target. I feel like they had these around New Year's last year and they might've had them again this year. But they're originally from Vivitar. You probably can find them from another source as well. Is the quality good? Um, maybe not, but they get the job done, which is really all I need them for. I really only use them when I'm working out and I feel like they do stay in my ears pretty well. You can also like pause them by tapping on the side like any other headphone. And I also just like the AirPod design. I feel like the case is really sleek and cute. And they did have other colors. So I have this one in like a more like muted teal green. And since it is this kind of like AirPod design, they should in theory fit into any like additional AirPod cases that you want to get. I feel like this is really good for someone who like doesn't have a Bluetooth headphone set yet but you want to try them out and see if there's something that will work for you. Or if you're someone like me who hates the feeling of Bluetooth ear pods that like stick all the way in your ear, I really have found that I can only handle the like Apple style headphones. These are obviously like a really cheap alternative. And they're just a good way to test out AirPods before committing to a hundred dollar purchase. Now I wanted to move into talking about other media that I've been enjoying lately. The first one is I want to talk about some podcasts I've been listening to and really loving. The first one is Books Unbound, which I feel like I've mentioned before on my channel. I'm a big fan of. I just feel like they are so fun. I feel like I want more book podcasts that are just like two friends who tell each other about the books that they are currently reading. I also really like that they have no ads. I've definitely listened to quite a few other bookish podcasts. A lot of whom have like just so many ads, it basically made it unwatchable. I feel like this is the perfect podcast if you're looking for a book podcast that is really just about two friends who talk about their lives and also give book reviews. The next podcast I wanted to mention is the Normal Gossip podcast hosted by Kelsey McKinney. This podcast is so funny. Our friend Val showed it to us and I'm so glad that she did because we've listened to pretty much all the episodes now. I feel like their guests can be a little like hit or miss in terms of like how funny and likable they are. But a lot of the time this story they tell is so absurd and engaging, you kind of can forget all of those other flaws. I feel like this is the perfect podcast for someone who is a nosy bitch, who like the intro says, is looking for an anonymous morsel of gossip from the real world. Okay, now I wanted to move into music, which is really just this one Percy Jackson playlist. It slaps so hard. I feel like listening to this just made me want to listen to more like mythology based folk and alternative music. I feel like it captures the vibes of the series really well, even if the lyrics 100% don't match up. There's definitely a couple songs I found on this playlist that I was like, oh my god, this is exactly the energy I'm getting from Percy Jackson. Okay, now I wanted to talk really briefly about some of the movies we watched lately. I've actually been watching a lot more movies this year than I've ever have in the past. So I'd be interested in maybe doing like a full movie wrap up in the future if you guys are interested. Anyway, I wanted to talk about two movies that we watched recently that I really enjoyed. The first one I mentioned in a previous video and that is The Perks of Being a Wallflower. This was so amazing. I like can't believe I'd never seen it before since I feel like it is both a book and a movie that was really popular with the millennial generation. Literally while I was watching this movie, I was like, this is like if Dear Evan Hansen was good. The, and then I found out that not only did the writer of the original book direct the movie, but he also directed the Dear Evan Hansen movie, which feels like an act of intentional sabotage in making that movie so bad to just kind of highlight how much his original story shines in comparison to that. The other movie and like the last thing I wanted to mention in this video is The Talented Mr. Ripley. If you like Saltburn, you will like this. It's so close to that movie that it's almost the exact same plot, but like the setting and the vibes are very different. The entire cast is also so good and so perfect in their roles. I think this also is a book to movie adaptation, but I heard the book is quite different from the movie. So I don't know, I might be tempted to check that out in the future as well. But that is it for this video. Please let me know if you enjoyed this format. I definitely would like to make these, you know, a couple times a year, just as I find new favorites to share with you guys. 
If you enjoyed this video, consider liking, commenting, or subscribing if you aren't already. As always, consider following me on the Storygraph or following my Bookstagram, both of which are linked in the description. And that is going to be it for me. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next video.